Oh my God, what is going on with the world today? Hello, think McFly, think. Let's go ahead and just get things started. I got some serious things to talk about today. So we got this company called Super 5 that created this retro design of the PS5 to look almost identical to the color scheme of the PS2. They were only gonna make 300 of these suckers and they look fabulous, might I add, again. But for $650 or $700, it is crazy. You're probably thinking, who would buy something like that for that much extra money over a standard PS5 just for a color scheme or a design, like a theme basically. Well, a lot of people apparently, because they sold out in seconds, 300 units sold out in seconds for like 650 or $700. And that's great, bravo, great product design. It looks killer, people are willing to buy it. These are great things. The issue is here because they sold out really quick, there's been some angry people. And in fact, they've been issuing death threats. What? What? Are you serious? Death threats over a console. What is this world coming to? Yo, this is getting crazy. Yo, think McFly, think. I mean, for real. You're gonna issue a death threat over a console. Is that what the world's coming to? Social media seems to break people's ability to function as human beings and it breaks their grip on reality and ironically on a social level it's weird it's so weird like what problem here guys is anonymity and accountability anyone on the internet can say anything with no real consequence of their actions or their direction of hate violence threats and such what's really happening here is the mental breakdown and the loss of grip on reality for people that are online death threats over a console it's ridiculous Seriously, there were people that listed this uh, Super 5 version of the PS5 uh, with the PS2 retro design on eBay for like two or three thousand dollars. So we know that scalpers are probably the ones that are hiding behind the internet, acting like innocent victims, threatening because they can't get their hands on this console and sell it for two thousand dollars to make money. Now, let's be real here scalpers are ruining everything, they really are. There's probably some people issuing death threats over the PS5 uh, Super 5 retro redesign. Uh, that really were legitimate customers that are mad there's none left because the bots and the scalpers have bought up the NVIDIA 30 uh, RTX cards, the 3090s, the 6800 XTs, the 6900 XT AMD cards. There's so much computer and electronic equipment, including PS5 and Xbox Series X that are all sold out. Scalpers are buying hundreds. There's a fiasco with Walmart, how bots were buying hundreds and hundreds of these units and Walmart stopped them. There's so many scalpers and the pandemic made it worse. There's legitimately people that are pissed off that cannot get these things that they want because bots and scalpers are buying everything up trying to gouge everybody to make money during the pandemic now i know this existed before the pandemic but it's three times worse now trust me it really is in any case it's no excuse for death threats and it's hard to say who's issuing these death threats the reality is there are people very upset that can't get the things they want as a normal consumer because bots and scalpers are buying them up i believe a majority of them are scalpers who couldn't get their hands on them to make money on them. And there's also a few others that have probably issued death threats that are really immature that just really wanted one. It's chaotic. The world is chaotic. 2020 is bleeding over into 2021. This is nonsense. Grow up, shame on yourself. There, there must be nobody home upstairs if you're threatening people's lives over a console. This is crazy. Uh, it clearly explains here. They are making PS2 inspired versions of the PS5 console. They've canceled it and they've given a statement, which I'm going to read right now for you guys and it says the team began receiving credible threats to their safety and consequently canceled the order of 300 plus units which have reportedly sold out in seconds despite the 650 through 750 dollar price tags for the discless and disc versions respectively the rush for highly sought after consoles allegedly resulted in the number of failed or incomplete orders and many unhappy u.s customers consequently the international launch of its customized system has been delayed we take these threats very seriously they have said and as a result they're not proceeding forward and all orders have been canceled with full refunds the company said although some customers allege they have yet to receive the money back they said they're going to get these units back out on sale as soon as it's safe to try again this is sad 
It says that uh, they intended for this to be a fun way to celebrate a shared nostalgia. And as it turns out, people out there are willing to interfere with that. And if we determine it's safe to try again, we will, but for now, please stay safe. This is the redesigned retro of the PS5 uh, to look like the PS2 or similar to it. And this is where it says they've been getting death threats and uh, they're refunding everybody and they intended this to be fun. And this was part of their Twitter page, which is now removed. They even had to remove their Twitter page. Look, the company has also deactivated its Twitter seemingly as a way to counter the threats being made against it. It's depressing the gaming community would do such a thing for a product that is clearly meant to be enjoyed. This is just unbelievable. It's bad, it really is. Uh, it's all over the web. It's just sickening. It really is sickening that people would behave in such a manner. How do you guys feel about this? I think it's quite stupid and it's sad. I know there's a lot of people out there that are really tired of this pandemic, tired of being at home. They want to buy things. Everybody's buying everything up and trying to scalp it and sell it. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people. Uh, there's just a lot of frustrated people. And I've been frustrated at times myself trying to buy things. And it seems like there's a lot of scalpers and a lot of people just buying things, trying to make money on them during the pandemic. It's really a bad time. It just really is. And this truly shows the kind of unhinged nature that we've got going on in the world today. We have got to come to grips with reality and threatening people's lives is not okay. You know, I was a kid that loved to play video games in the 90s. And there was a lot of games that I loved and wanted to play that were sold out and I had to wait for them. And there's others that were in the same boat that were adults at the time and they weren't issuing death threats. Just imagine in the 90s, you're going into a Funko Land or a Babbage's or even electronics boutique, and you're going on day one to get yourself in the Nintendo 64. The store opens at 10, and you're walking in there at 10.05 or 10.10. .10. Hey, Jim. How you doing, Bob? Uh, I'd like to get a Nintendo 64 with uh, Mario 64. Oh, I'm sorry. We're sold out. We just sold the last one. Bob? Jim? I'm going to kill both of you. You better get me a Nintendo 64 right now. I, I ain't playing, Jim. Get me a Nintendo 64 right now. I'll kill both of you. Did you hear what I said? Give me a Nintendo 64. I'm a, I swear you don't. I'm going to end you right now. Hey, get off me. Get off me. I wasn't doing nothing. I was just playing. I was just playing. Oh, come on. Come on, Jim. I thought we were friends. Bob, come on. That's exactly how it would play out. Five years in jail, maybe. Three years, I don't know. Mugshot, fingerprinted, community service, years in jail. Your record screwed. Might as well forget playing a video game for quite some time. Anonymous, no accountability, nothing. It's the problem. That is the very big problem. I can tell you what, that crap wouldn't fly in the 90s. There's no way, because there was no internet. If you said anything like that in person, you'd physically get your butt kicked, kicked out of the store and or arrested. It would never work. It's getting crazy out there with the internet. It really is. Everyone's just got to calm down. Got to calm down out there. I'm talking to you guys. Calm down. If you've ever threatened anybody over electronics, I'm talking to you. Calm down. So I just feel like there's not enough love. 2020 was crazy. It looks like it's bleeding over into 2021. Let's not get crazy. No need for any of this nonsense. We need to spread more love, guys. And I really hope the situation gets better. Heartfelt thoughts going over to Super 5. I hope this company can recover. I hope everything's okay and nobody gets hurt. I hope it's not serious. I hope it dies down and just goes away and everybody just gets along and stops fighting. It's just insanity, to say the least. It really is. But I really hope everybody who stopped in enjoyed the content. I will see all of you guys in the live streams and the next upload. Stay safe out there. Really, guys, stay safe. Take care of yourselves in these strange times, and I will see all of you on the next upload or live stream. Take care. Peace.